Okay, now to talk a little bit about collaboration. All right, so uh, here on GitHub, I am Kosh. As you can see, I'm still Kosh, as you can see, and I am uh, looking over the code that I just downloaded from the Fonzo. Uh, and I'm seeing that, wow, the Fonzo's readme doc, whoa, wow, that it looks absolutely like, what is that? It's one gigantic block of text. So I decide uh, that I want to make that better and actually turn it into a nice uh, little markdown page that uh, is actually readable. So I do a little editing uh, here in TextMate and uh, make that change. Now I'm going to uh, commit that change. This is kind of what it looks like when you uh, make changes inside uh, the GitHub app. Um, anything that's changed uh, that's been deleted is red and anything that's that's new is nice and green. Yay! Um, so I'm going to make a commit. Right. Call it better read me doc. Better read me page. Yeah, that's better. And now going to sync that. Now what's happening with the uh, GitHub app is that it's actually, and I don't know if you noticed that up here, there's a little thing that just happened up here, is that it just pushed that change up to uh, up to my version of uh, the code. The GitHub baby culture. Right? So let's reload this page and we should be able to see, hopefully, the new ta-da! The new change, yay! So now we have a better looking page. Look at that, fantastic, right? Now, if we go over to, let's see if I can actually click the Fonzo Cotto. Let me see the Fonzo's version, right? So now we're over on the Fonzo Cotto, right? Or in uh, the Fonzo's code, and if you look down see it's still the old doc there on his code just to make sure that you can uh, understand that we're in two different places here so back to baby kosh kata baby kosh kata form yay better looking read me so now i'm going to send fonzo a um a pull request for this particular page. Let's see if I can actually click on this page. I want to make sure that it just pulls that one page. See the URL is now pointed to, to directly just that, that particular page and not all the source because I only want to, to pull, uh, want to send a, a pull to, uh, to this. Now, now, now what, what, what is pull? Pull is, um, hello other coder out there. I've just made this change. You know, I'd like you to um, take this change because I think it's better and, and incorporate it into your your code, yeah. So can you copy it over into your code, re replacing your old code with this with this new code? That that's all that is. Pull request. See, and GitHub is nice and explained exactly what's happening here. Send pull request. All right. So now we can actually see what's happening there. A little conversation just happened, yeah? So now I'm going to... Uh, and that's that. That's one way how you collaborate. So let's let's see if I can actually. I'm gonna log in here. Uh, sign in. So now. Uh, okay. okay. So now I'm logged in as the Fonzo, and hey, somebody sent me a message. Look at that. That's interesting. Hey, look. Baby conscious, open up a pull request. Let 
me check out what that is. Click on it. Baby Kosh wants someone to merge one commit to the Fonzo Master from Baby Kosh Master. So Kosh was nice to uh, fix something in my code. Let's just pretend that I have uh, taken a look at it and I agree with it and I decide, yeah, that looks great. Let me merge that. Now that issue is closed, we go take a look at my actual code, Defonzo, right? Got it. See the URL, Defonzo. Look at the README, the new README. Ah, beautiful. Look at that. Another developer out there in GitHub has uh, collaborated with me remotely and made a fantastic change that I agreed to uh, incorporate in my code. And that's it for uh, pull re request collaboration on, uh, on GitHub. Next, I'm going to show you how to actually uh, connect someone and make them part of your project. Uh, that's the, the next version of collaboration on GitHub that we'll go over. All right.